My name's Daisy Savage and today I'm here with From Where I'm Standing. How are you today? Yeah, good, thank Great, you. Very good. Yeah. And would you like to introduce yourselves for the camera? Hi, I'm Neil and I'm part of the cast. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ollie, I'm an action co-director. I'm Shania and I'm part of the cast as well. So how's your show going so far? Really good, yeah, we've got uh, six four-star reviews and one five-star so far, and we're a stage must see, so it's going okay. Yeah, Great, and so would you like to tell us a bit about your show? Uh, That's to you, the <laughs> um, The show itself is, um, it, it looks at family, it looks at the way that people interact and communicate with each other, and the impact that that has. So it follows 30 years um, in the life of one family that are quite fragmented and fractured. Um, and they haven't known each other across those 30 years. Um, but there's a major event which means that they have to suddenly try and piece together the part of their own lives and each other's lives that they can um, in order to uh, try and work out <coughs> whether someone uh, <laughs> How much am I going to give away? Uh, <laughs> whether, <laughs> let's see whether um, the father in the family is guilty of a major uh, crime. And so, who do you play? I play uh, a couple of roles. I play a teacher and an Australian man. And my main one is in 2028, because we've been across uh, timelines from 1997 to 2013 to 2028. Yeah. I play the boyfriend of the girl who is the daughter of the guy who <laughs> might, might not have done something. You've got to be quite on the ball. Yeah, yeah it's, quite, it's quite a pacey show. I play uh, Meg, so the daughter. Um, um, of a dash, and basically, it's this big kind of question mark around him of did he do this big event or did he not? Was he, a, a, you know, did he have a part to play in this major thing? It's quite um, interesting because we, we, we know what we think as a cast and you know, the writers and everything, but we've heard a lot of people downstairs after the show kind of arguing about it, wondering, there's lots of different theories about it, so, so is it's quite left intriguing. Open at the end? To a certain yeah. extent, we, we felt that it was relatively clear but, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and the, we, find, we found that the majority of people come away um, with the same conclusion that we made about the characters but it's, we always like there to be an element of ambiguity to allow the audience to, to think and come up with their own um, ideas and, 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 and also you find that different people want to leave with a different impression of the characters and a different version of the storyline which is really lovely because we're really keen for the work to, to really, uh, for people to invest in the characters and in the work um, and we find that with this show and, and our previous shows it's often um, easier to leave some open ended questions in order to kind of invite the audience to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of um, different characters and time changes. How did you make sure that it was still clear for the audience to follow? Uh, well, um, as a company we use um, a lot of multimedia elements. So we, um, we've actually, our technical director Alex Lewer has um, built a new piece of software from scratch uh, which allows us to present um, multimedia in a new way on stage which has never been done before oh, so that is yeah. one kind of nah, one nah. aspect of it we also use the slightly more conventional um, projection elements and those allow us to ensure that the audience is kept up to speed because we don't it's not chronological we do jump yeah, back jump and forth back forward, between yeah. those three time frames yeah. 97 2013 and, um, and different places so Southampton, London and Mumbai um, so we kind of in a, in a we've sort of stolen the, the device from Phil of bringing up the place and the date um, and the backdrop of the show the set is uh, a wall of suitcases and so we use the suitcases as different windows to project onto um, and that sort of um, represents the sort of transient nature of the relationships and the fact that all the characters are travelling throughout the show. So it's a highly technical show and we've got um, so this app which is essentially being created for the iPads that we use 
uh, means that they can be like, remotely controlled from the tech, tech box. So, um, yeah, as an audience, you've got to kind of like, be on the board and just be looking and seeing, you know, exactly right, this is where they are, this is what's happening. Um, but alongside that, there's a beautiful score which has been composed by um, David Saunders um, and underscored throughout the whole piece, um, which accompanies it lovely and gives it that kind of filmic um, feel as well. Okay, and what kind of message do you hope that the audience will take from the show? Because your character is the one to speak about it for the most closely, I think. Well, there's, there's lots of different elements and it will kind of depend on your personality and which bits you've liked and not liked, but there's a, there's a big theme of kind of communication and whether we're losing a human kind of interaction with such proliferation of things like Twitter and social networking and things which give us a certain level of communication but perhaps not a deeper one. And you can feel very connected to people but also disconnected and that, that's quite a strong theme which I think is, is, is one that people do often take away as you know, that kind of the importance of family and kind of genuine relationships with people as opposed to the slightly more transient kind of sort of friends or whatever whatever it might be or whatever that could be in the future. It's just that kind of it touches on media as well and how the media has a part to play in the images that we build of people and you know, um, and how that changes how people think and feel about certain people, and it might be completely wrong because of this communication. And um, so we touch on quite a few bits, and a few, you know, we can use the audience, um, you know, when they come out, but people take away different things from it. So we, yeah, we've had some very nice feedback from certain people who have who have been very personally touched by the story because of different elements. So it, it seems to have a heart and soul in there somewhere which, which often people take away a slightly different thing but it is that you know it, it's, it's something nice hopefully that people take with them after we've told a nice story to them. <laughs> Great well thank you very much for talking to us and if you'd like to see the show it's at 120 Underbelly Cowgate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.